Hello, uh, Freud Cigar here, and having a little drink, and uh, thinking, um, after having seen some videos today, a uh, great one by Thunderfoot, and uh, after seeing some videos by uh, a guy named Philos on the uh, on YouTube, um, just what the, what the problem is with with morality and atheism. What is this problem? Drinking soju, Korean liquor, by the way. What is this problem? Exactly. Is it that if there is a God, then there is some sort of moral order to the universe because that God says what is right, and therefore we should do what is right? As kind of a slave sort of state doing what they what he says is right or she says is right. But the idea is that uh, I think that they're always hitting at it is that uh, uh, since hum since humans have morality, therefore there is a God. Okay, not. They always want to put it the other way around, the, the B then A, but it ends up being A then B. Which the classic problem then results from philosophy, right? Um, do we do things because we're ordered to do them, or do we do things because they are good naturally? Because does God order things for us to do because he orders them for us to do? Or does he order them because they are good to do? If he orders them just because he orders them, then you're not really being moral following that code at all. You're just following orders. That's not being moral. If there are things that are naturally good to do already, yeah, you're being moral by following them. You could have figured that out on your own. Like Christopher Hitchens says, it's hard to believe that Jews spent all that time walking through the desert thinking that murder and theft was okay. That's what people like this Philos and, uh, and uh, Venom Fang X don't really realize is that uh, you know there, there's an intellectual contradiction there. Uh, since you can't prove it, we need to have a realistic description of what morals are. Why are humans moral? Why should we be moral? And Thunderfoot in his latest series of videos explains it nicely. This is the power of evolutionary science, that it can explain these things. And just common sense can explain it as well. Society would not function. It would be absolutely anarchy if everybody thought that they were morally permissible to do whatever they wanted to. Now, I believe in my personal political philosophy is I believe in the sense of libertarianism, in that people should be able to do whatever they want, so long as it doesn't inflict negatively on anyone else. Right? As long as everybody's consensual and it doesn't inflict negatively on everybody else, then it should be okay. I really, really do not like these Christians moralizing for everyone. And it's not just Christians, and I don't want to say that, these fundamentalist Christians doing that for everyone. Because they can't back up their story, for one thing. Who knows if what they're saying is right? There's philosophical contradictions in what they're saying anyways. Society has problems not because of growing disbelief, and thank God there's growing disbelief. It has problems because of growing poverty, not growing disbelief. Well, that's just people trying to find easy ways to get some money.
they feed themselves and try and have what everybody else has. And understand that. Is what they're doing right? No, it's not right. But you can understand it. Sure. Understand it to the point of uh, somebody killing somebody else. And I can't understand that. But, you know, other than that, then I can understand what they're saying. So people like Van Fang X and the Skrulls and stuff, we just thought these are these morality arguments for God. Like, because there's morality, therefore there is a God. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Somebody put said, the animals behave relatively morally compared to human standards out in the wild. They don't kill each other. They act cooperatively. They often share games with each other and they don't have any belief system not that we know of but they don't have any belief system why can't that be true of humans why can't we sit down as a human race and develop our own morality together why can't we sit down and say seriously honestly we have a basic idea of what's right and wrong and let's sit down and talk about the rest of what we think is fair and what we think is right and wrong Let's not hold things over by fear and hatred and this is what some non-existent entity says is right and wrong. Let's, let's sit down on what we agree on as a, as a race. As a species, let's sit down. Let's discuss it. That's what we should do. But unfortunately, I think we're a long way away from that. Step by step, though. We're getting there. As long as we don't allow people like this, Philos or Venom Fang X, to succeed, we'll do quite well. Anyways, until next time, I thought I would send a, a message out. Uh, have a good night. Bye.